the most important array method to know is the filter array is the filter method because using the filter method will allow you to be able to filter between arrays of elements so you need to know how to use the filter method and how it works using the filter method filter method will allow you to filter an array based on the based on the condition passed into it so what i mean by this is so let's say we have an, we have an array of um, let me say student student fees student fees so let's have an array like okay let's say for instance this is this 2000 so another student paid paid in 6,800 then maybe another student is 10,015 then maybe let's say now let's mix it together like some students the <coughs> let's say some student owes maybe student owes 550 then student another student owes so let me just mix this up here so it may just be like I'm trying to put them in a certain kind of order. So let me just like for you maybe another student owes five thousand one hundred. So this is just something where I'm done with some actual information. It's just for us to see how filtering works. So now don't forget so this is the filter this is the filter method oh, sorry sorry so this is the filter method similar with the map with the map method is the filter methods to accept the fact that they do different things so the filter method also takes in three arguments the current the current elements we are iterating the index sorry the index of the current element and the array that we are working on in most cases you might not be needing the array in most cases you might not be needing the array and sometimes you, you will so in most cases you you should be all will be working with the current element and the index of the current element so that is that is it so and don't forget that the filter method also takes in a callback function so you can either use a function declaration or you can use an arrow function so it depends on you and the one that is easy for you to to use or in my case when using this i prefer to use arrow function sometimes and sometimes function declaration it depends on how long or uh, how much the code I want to execute in the function is so that will make me so suppose sometimes let's say I I want to execute the one line code so I can just easily go ahead with an arrow function. So if you understand what I mean. So let's say we want to use a filter on this now let's say const um students who students are on the school. Can do student fees dot filter. Then we pass in the argument. So if I'm using arrow function, I can pass in fees. Then I do this. So let's say we want to filter students that O, which means the student that are running this school. And we can just do this down to zero. Sorry, um, wow, let's make a mistake here. So fee is less than zero because anything with minus and front is obviously less than zero. So that is easy. So we can just do this. Then let me just console this to give uh, students. Maybe let me just use student debt instead. So, so 
Dance Dev. I think that should be easy. So let's just do this. So you see, it's going to return an array to us. It's going to return an array. So this filter, using filter map, is just like we're using it for each. So it's filtering, so it will iterate it on each of the elements in this in this um, array that we created. So it's iterate it on each of them. So it will now pick out only the elements that 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 passed this condition, and the condition is three less than zero. So if they are less less than zero, so it passed them. Then it creates a new array from it as long as they meet with the condition here. So let's say another instance we want wants it to only give us the 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 um oh sorry we only want to filter those that that paid their school fees which means it's greater like it's greater than zero right so we are just have to do this to almost don't do students paid then again we come to students student fees dot filter then again we we pass in so instead of doing this in a bracket we can in the parenthesis parenthesis I meant and I can just pass in fees like this then I do this then I do fees greater than zero it's still going to work I don't necessarily have to put this inside the parenthesis so I don't necessarily have to put the, the argument that passed in inside the parenthesis is still going to work this way. So let's just console log this out. So if we console log this out, so we have student date. So you see, it separated the, paid, the student that paid from the student that wasn't paid, which is this one, student debt. So this is just a basic understanding that we help you to, to know how filter works with an array. So just to recap what I said, filter is used to is using filtering at an array based on a certain condition. So we have to give it the condition when we are calling when we so when we are using the filter method. This you need to like passing the condition inside the callback function that we are going to execute. So the filter we have to, the filter works as long as this condition is met. So if the condition is not met, it's not going to give us any results. So let me say for instance, let's say here we do greater than or equals to, okay, so I just leave this like this. It's just come here. We have to greater than or equals to let me see the amount that is not here. Okay, it is not seven thousand five hundred. So sorry. Let me just see. So it returns an empty array for us because this condition that we pass here, which is fees, must be greater than or equals to seven thousand five. So after it iterates each of these, it doesn't there is no there is no element that, that meets with this condition. So that is why it's returning an the array for us here. So I hope with this you'll be able to understand how filter works. This is just a brief and basic example and very soon we're going to be working on the project whereby we're going to uh, we're going to use the advanced feature of filter whereby we're going to be using it to filter a lot of um a lot of objects a lot of arrays that we go to an FH API, that we go to an API application. So we will see more. So I would advise you stay tuned to this channel, like, share, and subscribe while you wait so you can learn the advanced parts of using the filter, how you can use it to get different things, how you can use it to filter your, to, how you can use it to filter stores in your projects. So thank you for watching.